Hello and welcome to When Anthony Was, Drawing and Painting, Creating Art. Today has been a very good day in the studio. I have done a lot of drawing and I was not thinking I would do any more and I decided to play some Steins Gate visual novel that inspired the really amazing anime and I did that for a while. It was a good break. Um, and then I was feeling inclined to watch this little part of a video with Ian McKaig and Carla Ortiz and Greg Manches and this other woman who I don't know her name. Um, I was inspired to watch a video of them that was created uh, uh, during Lightbox Expo uh, online this year and just this little part that I've re-listened to a few times and it's, it's Ian McCaig talking about that creating art is an expression of being yourself and the visual language uh, you're learning is always going to be he says it's always going to be crap um, you're going to be a little less crap the more you, you practice. And so there's nothing to be the mentality of, oh, I'm not good enough or whatever. The What he goes on saying is, you're not good enough for what? Um, to express yourself because you're perfect for that. No one else can do that. You're, you're perfect for that. And... Um, so then, you know, what's, what's, what's the problem? Um, and I felt an inclination to listen to that video, and then I did. And after doing so, uh, I felt like hell. I, I, I didn't feel like hell. I felt like, oh man, I wish to express myself more through art and I felt inspired and I felt like not just inspired as in I felt like I had just gone to it inspired me so much like as if I had gone to a, a workshop like a weekend workshop or something and, and like met the artists there and then it was like yeah time to do a bunch of art it's like that and I think it's Felt feel like that because I had a good day already of drawing, so it kind of just brought me right back into it and being like, "Yep, had a break, solid break, and I'd like to get good at my craft." So I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going. Um, take care of myself. Take a break when I need to take a break. Nurture something else in my life that feels good. And then do more of what, uh, what feels really good is really tuning in to my practice and, uh, and just doing it. So what I'm doing right now is a Paul Bonner study. Paul Bonner is a master a wizard of art, an artist. Um, and he draws a lot of fantastical creatures. And I really love his design. And he's really good. And uh, so from my big magnet, magnet boards on my wall, which are a um, collection of all kinds of pictures I've cut out from books and uh, mostly my books, but We'll be doing uh, like magazines and stuff. I have a collection of National Geographic and things like that. Um, I took this one off there because I was like, this is cool. I'm going to draw this. And here we are. So, And it's really just to draw it for fun. Uh, kind of some sketchbooking. I was so tired earlier today that I was like, I don't really think I'm going to do any more art. I'm just going to play Steins Gate. And then watch a little video. Now I'm super excited. 
And uh, as I said, I'm tired. I'm feeling a little tired again, but pretty much just super excited. So, and I feel like this is coming along nicely. I'm just kind of really having fun. It's not, it's uh, having a looseness and a funness to the way it's coming about. And you can't really see it, but there's a head so far. It's kind of a, you know, really light scaffolding um, of a bull type of character, like a, mi a minotaur. And uh, there's more above this minotaur, but I decided I'm just going to do his body. And he was like, kind of scrunched up enough and like sort of has that that body shape, whatever, that he could fit in this... Uh, in this landscape um, page, you know, not a portrait landscape. I've had some realizations lately about my art and how I, there's certain things that really are what I'm aiming for. Um, it's kind of just, it's not necessarily subject matter or, or uh, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's like I'm, I've, I've realized what gets me excited to learn because it's the highest aim I, I desire. Um, where there's many other things like, oh, it's cool to just draw creatures or it's do cool to, um, it's cool to do portraits of people or it's cool to whatever, any kind of thing that's, you know, I like looking at it, but it's not like the end game. So it's the, the, the thing that really is like the most difficult <laughs> and the most powerfully, um, inspiring for me is what I what I have to keep uh, at the forefront of my my studies because then that 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 inspires me to study it's part of the uh, you know and it's and it's not only it basically is just a reminder of like what I'm what I'm here for what I'm doing this for why why study and therefore and not to, not to put, um, it's not like a reason to study. It's just like studying happens when I'm aware of this. So his legs are quite dark. He's got a big hand here. And his feet. It's like he's got one big hoof. And then he's got a big axe, and his hand is holding it here, and up. And don't see another leg. I think it might be back there, but it's hard to tell. All right, so continuing on. You got, I got the thing kind of placed in position a bit, you know. So I have a sense of where things are. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to be uh, doing my best to return to... Uh, just drawing much more than I've have this year. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. All right. <clears throat> I 
there's some rocks and stuff around here rocks 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 and then there's a big rock wall that goes up and it it'll work to frame the picture even if i don't have all the stuff it connects to at the top um, but it will actually add a nice way that this horn becomes in shadow because if that wall's there it's going to make more sense to the viewers <clears throat> that it's in shadow i think i'm going to bring that out a bit more Good. That's good. And I think he might be tied. He's looks like he's tied up to the wall. This is a cool picture. The Paul Bonner stuff just looks cool all the time. It's just, it's just cool. And that's. That's what we look for as artists. That's what we're trying to do. Just make cool stuff. There's just so many aspects to learning art, like studying anatomy, and then studying composition, and doing originals, and doing longer studies of just figurative, figurative drawings, and then doing quick sketch, and doing landscape, and just really mind-boggling. And then take all that, add in creating a stories with it, a whole other realm of study and uh, expansion with art. What else am I going to do? <laughs> the, uh, the aim is just to keep going, not, not quit, not, uh, not let the world change how I feel really just to know oneself and, and and the knowing of oneself leads to the proper stuff so the more i'm knowing what i need what i desire what i'm here to do on this planet and what i choose what feels best in a very soulful way, then uh, well, I'm going to feel that and I'm going to release that into the world and maybe right now in this moment it's, it's just doing this video, it's just a little Paul Bonner skits, yeah, it's just just sharing how I feel about these things in this verbal and visual uh, practice. Um, later on, you know, be it'll be stories, it'll be other things. Um, you know, uh, right now it's also just being being alone and spending spending energy on learning and nurturing my passions and connecting to the uh, the fulfilling nature and energy of what this stuff is for me that's that's as Ian says, um, as I described at the beginning, that's enough. You know, being yourself, truly being a master where you are, living each moment, your entire life, which is now, 
with your faculties at their highest level of engagement, at their most truest, most beautiful, most powerful, Make sure the thing's still running. Yep. These uh, his uh, what do you call them? Nostrils. His nostrils reminded me of um, like the yin and yang symbols, or big raindrops, or uh, kind of thought of music notes too, like those musical. Yeah, like music notes. Yeah. So, so I have a couple uh, books coming in the mail. I was thinking maybe you guys can comment if you're interested of uh, I could go into sharing my art books I mean this technically I'm sharing them a drawing from them um, and there's a lot of you could I mean there's most most videos or most books you could search like inside this book if it's an art book and probably find somebody who made a video where they're flipping through the pages and showing you know what it's like on the inside so I don't really need to do that when I feel like other people are doing that um, it's really handy though because as a what I'm what I look for in books these days is books with lots of good images high quality and it doesn't have to have much writing and um, it's really it's about the visual medium it's about seeing the pictures and um, so I enjoy having videos online which offer insight, direct seeing into how many images are in this book. Is this book worth getting uh, because of that? And, and uh, yeah, I don't think it spoils the book at all, but it, it makes, you know, the, like, I don't think it's bad for, I'm still going to buy the book, even if I can see the whole thing in a YouTube video. Um, it's just, it's nice to know, you know the reasons, uh, not the reasons, but thing, the things involved in the book. What's in the book? To say it simply. Uh, da, 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 da. This is kind of like uh, meditating or something for me. It's zen sort of feeling to uh, not just draw but to draw and chat and just express myself whatever comes up it's kind of cool so i appreciate this platform and i don't even like know you know there's a f i've had a few comments people saying things on the videos and stuff and it's uh it's nice um but like I haven't had enough comments to really get a sense of like what people are getting out of this, really. Um, if you're you know watching, um, but I get stuff out of it, so that's why I'm doing it, and that's why you'll you'll see it first first and foremost. You know, I, obviously, it has to work that way, or else you know I wouldn't set up the camera in my in my studio alone just by myself and just do this <laughs> um, if I didn't get anything from it so I'm digging this guy's face I got one minute left before a 20 minute mark it's definitely fun and I'm jabbering away jabbering, jabbering away with my pencil and with my mouth. So 
So I'm going to turn to the camera now and show you this face. If I can get it straight. So you can see how it's kind of coming along as a minotaur character. And uh, I'm going to continue, but I'm going to stop the camera for a sec so it's going to look like I just... Um, kind of maybe glitched out, but uh, I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back. And we continue. Paul Bonner. All right, I'm going to actually bring this light closer. And let's do it. All right. Daddy, daddy, do, daddy, daddy, do, daddy, daddy, do, 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 do. I don't know if any of you out there watch anime, but recently I started watching Kaguya Sama Love is War, and the second season has a theme song. That goes like, daddy, daddy, do, daddy, daddy, do. And uh, I haven't actually watched the second season, but I know the song, I know the song, and, um, and I'm not going to watch the second season for a while. I've started doing this thing with shows that are really good. Um, instead of watching it all at once, I have decided to break it up. So recently I also watched Shirobako, which is another great anime. And instead of watching, which I was re-watching it, but instead of just watching the full thing all at once and just doing it because it's awesome, um, I decided I would only watch the first season and then I would take a good break from it. And then at some point I'd be like, oh man, I still have the second season to watch. I didn't just watch it all. So then I could go back and finish it up and it'd be like, you know, just, it's, it's it just, it's nice. It's just nice. So yeah, uh, Kaguya Sama Love is War. And apparently the third season is coming out sometime, maybe out already. Saw a YouTube trailer for it, a video. Uh, preview of the, of the, of the, uh, the season. I didn't actually watch it, but uh, it's on the thumbnail. So I know it's out there somewhere. Or will be soon. I do like to listen to videos and things as I, as I draw, as long as I can not really have to watch it but can simply listen. Or I do music. But there's so many things I'd like to watch that are content that um, I'm trying to watch things more often and not always listen to music because I can listen to music. I, I mean, I just do a lot anyway. So I feel like, okay, I should... Utilize the uh, quiet, you know, the availability of being able to listen to something while I'm drawing. And also sometimes I just listen to art. I mean, there's many things I listen to, but um, one of them is uh, art education, drawing videos about drawing so that I am you know, in the zone, hearing, hearing the pros talk about how they do stuff, and what to pay attention to, and everything. It's all good. <clears throat> I 
it would be cool to have a, a t-shirt with a Paul Bonner character on it. I don't know if those exist. I don't know if you can hear uh, the sounds of drums, but uh, I can. And I suppose this is training as an artist to be able to work under all kinds of conditions and not let myself be affected. Well, there's a lot to say there. Mm. I was going to say, you know, essentially keeping a balanced mind with things that, like the drums, they're, they're just a sound. They're just a thing. I'm kind of annoyed with it. But so... <laughs> I have to deal with my annoyance. That's that's the thing that is really to be dealt with. Um, and so I can learn to be aware from anything, from any circumstance. And if I was just to alter the circumstance all the time, I wouldn't learn anything. But then at the same time, I can go in there and I could say, hey, I'm drawing and I don't want you to play right now. And we would negotiate. And he might say, well, I really would like to drum, so why don't I drum for a while and you can, uh, you know, who knows what conversation would be, but there would be, if it was really important enough for me to stop this video and go in there and say, hey, I could do it. So for the fun of it, I'm going to shade, this area a bit, just to, just to get a sense of where the shadows are and where the light is. I uh, remember one time, not too long ago, I had uh, some people over here and I was showing them some of my drawings. And then I had this one drawing that was a study of a Jeff Watts female figure and I had it out and it wasn't shaded at all. It was just line work, right? And um, so I took it and I said, hey, so, uh, you know, it's line work, but like, look, this is where most of the drawing. Ooh, it's it. Oh, it's it. Uh, this is where most of the drawing intelligence happens because if I don't have a good underpinning drawing, then I could add any amount of sh light and shadow on it and it's, it's going to look like. It's going to emphasize the things that aren't working. Um, it's going to emphasize the things that are working, but it's also going to emphasize the things that aren't working. So if I don't have things working, then it's going to stand up. And so when I when I started, I picked it up and I started to shade it, and uh, the people watching were like, "Oh my!" God, it's so amazing now. And I had, I was just, 
it wasn't even doing anything. I was just like adding in the one value into the shading, you know, into all the areas that I had. So, you know, put so much effort into, an effort, but um, spent a lot of, you know, all the thinking power creating this, uh, the proper edges and stuff. And then you add the value in there like, oh my God. And uh, just didn't understand that it was already that, oh my God phase and adding the shadows really was not not uh, the place to be saying that. But of course they don't know. They don't know the procedure and it's uh, it's good to understand. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I find that they were shocked so much by the uh, shading, but it's just not where all the thought process happens. Bet you guys can hear that drumming. I imagine it's pretty loud. I mean, this is where if I was not recording myself, I might start playing uh, some music of my own. So my face is a little different, a little skinnier. Not by much, but a little bit. I feel like this pencil is kind of weird. It's like, I feel like it should be darker. Because I was using a 4B earlier today, but it was a different brand. But this pencil is a 4B, but it just seems like it doesn't really get that dark. It kind of feels like, it kind of has this weird waxy feel almost. It does get dark, sort of, I get it on the right side, but usually I'm not, and it's like, if I get, if I really put on side, then I can get the, the kind of, um, the darkness that I feel like it should be. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I don't have anything under here. I don't know why it's acting weird. But that's just, you know, that's okay. But I have realized I don't like this brand of pencil. They're Woodless, Woodless Graphite. General's brand is, uh, is not my favorite. My favorite is the Progresso, or the, um, which actually I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to switch. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just use this pencil up. Um, it's weird though. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, the Progresso or the Monolith are also both both good brands for the Woodless Graphite pencils. This is kind of odd. Doesn't sharpen in my electric or not electric uh, manual sharpener either, so it's it clogs it up. It's clogged it up several times with these pencils. Um, so I've had to then use a clothespin and unclog it and take it apart and stuff, and where the other ones work nicely. So I won't be buying any of these again. I have a collection of a few sketches, um, just like five, that I've kind of started on these YouTube videos and haven't finished yet. 
So I might have to go back and revisit some of the ones I've previously uh, drawn. So, that's what it's looking like so far. I think I need to get more of a variety of pencils too. I need some 6Bs and some some darker ones and some whatever, because I'm just I've been just using a 4B or whatever for the whole thing and just can't get the value difference. Could use the charcoal pencils. Um, but they, it's not really, I'm going to have to use the newsprint, which is fine. But I kind of have been enjoying just using sheets of office paper as this really feels good, familiar. It's kind of just thing I'm enjoying doing. So, so now begin to some. anatomy things going on here in the chest. I watched a video today about the tricep and just how big it is, how long it is. Or was that yesterday? We watched the video sometime. Um, it's just really, it's a long muscle on the arm. It was a workout video that was sharing the science of, you know, the, the uh, origin and insertion and So yeah, it's it's okay. It's coming along. Um, I feel like I really want to blame the pencil, not for a bad drawing, but just for the kind of difficulties of certain things. That's the way it's feeling, and uh, like yeah. It's really kind of waxy and weird. But of course I'm still using it, so that's, that's my choice. So yeah, as we get here to a close, we are not at all done this drawing, but 
gives a 40 minute sketch kind of fun as i said i might kind of come back and revisit some of the stuff that i've started in these videos and have not finished um, but they're kind of fun warm-up sketch stuff and i don't really have to make it into a finished piece if i don't feel like it i'm not going to make that an obligation Just practice and having some fun. So, and as I said before, so much of the process is in the beginning and getting things set up and, you know, getting all the person things right. And, and there's a lot to all of it, but, you know, there's definitely a value in starting images that I feel like is perhaps more valuable than finishing them, though they're both valuable. Alrighty, um, yeah, so that's the 41 minutes, and I'll just do a little showing of what I got. Kind of a cool little sketch thing, not too shabby, and uh, we'll span up and we'll show the reference for a second is what we're working with. So, you know, this guy to uh, that guy. There's a yeah. There's a difference, but uh, you know, it's fun. It's just uh, just studying. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and like this video and. I will see you for the next one. Ciao.